Winter time is cold. About 48 degrees in my apartment. And uh bought this last year. It's a Mr. Heater. Attaches to a propane tank. And this thing kicks out some heat. So we're gonna see how much it warms up the place. Oh look at her. She's loving it. This is the kitten. And she's sitting right in front of the heater on my knee. She's absolutely loving it. So it's been like 45 minutes. It's her first time experiencing the heater. And we are at almost 80 degrees above 80, actually. Nice. I'm keeping my butt right here next to my heater. Because I just feel so damn good. There's absolutely no side effects. Breathing in these fumes. It's just part of the... Ah! Oh, ha, ha, ha! That thing is awesome. It's a warm kitty. She's a warm kitten. She's so little. She's so tiny. She says, yeah, your truck's parked nice and safe. You don't have to go out and play in the snow. You stay home with me. So I can sit on your knee and be next to this heater. Oh, I've been waiting for this. <coughs> it's a at-home washing machine. This thing weighs like 30 pounds. And we're going to test it out tonight once I unbox it. Oh, you absolutely beautiful machine. Come to daddy. Come to Baba. Look at that. Oh, the days of the washing, the laundry matter, over! Let's check this thing out. Alright, so here it is. Washer and dryer. The thing is brand new. Give you an idea. It's not all that big. That's the standard bathtub. Like, up to my knee, maybe. It's portable. It could do maybe an outfit or two at the same time. So here it is, it's got a 15 minute timer, uh, standard soft and drain, and then a spin timer for the dryer, but I'm going to add the water to it and we'll check it out. Just going to use that old uh, 8 quart pot that I have to add the water, soap included. Alright, it's mixing the soap and water up pretty nicely. The true test will be adding my son's stinky socks into there. Because, oh my god! It's working amazing. Look at the dirtiness of the water coming out. Egad! That's pure stink! That's pure stink. I'm going to rewash these. Oh, wash the clothes pretty clean. I got two shirts and a bunch of socks I'm going to put into the dryer part. I don't know if you should bring them out or not. And then uh, start the dryer and see how that thing works. I think there's a plastic piece I got to put in there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you overfill this thing, it's got a relief in the back that takes uh, water out in case you put too much water in. So now I'm going to try the dryer. This is supposed to stabilize the, the dryer load so it doesn't hop all around on you. Um, due to safety facts, you should get the washer half going. And the dryer half stops if you lift the lid because due to safety facts, that's what happens. But this thing's whistling when it's drying. Ooh, dirty clothes. I'm loving this machine. We'll see. So the dryer is done, and it's just like a spinner. There's no heating element, but these socks are almost dry enough to wear. So I'm just going to use my makeshift ghetto clothesline that I made to hang the socks up. Because cool. Why not? Of course. Of course, Martin! He has to inspect everything. What do you think, Martin? What do you think, Mr. Marmar? He's making sure it's cat approved. 
So you figure, you spend $20 a week at the laundromat. You go there four times a month, there's 100 bucks. That machine was only $120. So it's going to pay for itself in a month and a half easily. Plus, now I have the convenience of doing wash at home. Yeah! I mean, the thing has a couple drawbacks. You have to manually put the water in it. But for an apartment that has a narrow stairway where you're never going to get a washer and dryer up it, and it doesn't have uh, water hookups for a washer and dryer anyway, it's perfect for where I live. So, I give this thing a thumbs up.